2020, it's another year of Australia Decides. I've been so excited to see this come back again in such a great form as well. How do you feel about the night? Oh, look, it couldn't have gone better for us. I was so relaxed that I got out of the truck and I started to go into the green room and then go in and watch the performances. And um, I saw Vanessa in the room, which just went off. Mm. I went in and saw Casey in the room, which as a TV producer, you don't normally get out of the truck. But Casey was incredible. And then uh, I watched Montaigne in the room, which was great because I knew what it looked like on television, but I had no idea what the public, the audience thought of it and they just loved it so yeah I'm a, I'm a happy man but i love to see i think in australia decides is how quickly the fans kind of get onto it like oh. there were blue wigs in the crowd yeah. like 24 hours yeah. after they saw, the, saw yeah. the clip so uh in terms of like the artists i think i think i found the most interesting over the last two years for australia decides is the first four years of australia being in it they were mainstream mainstream artists we've had now a public competition where actually now two more or less independent artists have now won it so what does that say about the state of australian music especially for Eurovision? Well, independent music is a huge wellspring of our culture. Like, you know, when I heard Zero Gravity, I heard The Saints, I heard The Reels, I heard all these foundational alternative independent musical acts that Kate had picked up on, a little bit of Nina Hagen, and kind of mixed it up and then served it. But So the Europeans didn't hear that, but that's what I heard, mm. you know. In, in, our, in all the songs that we got, there were lots and lots of independent artists, but I just really think it's a Trojan horse, Eurovision. There's no reason that we can't just pack it full of indie artists and then just present them to Europe and the world. I mean, because as, as Montaigne said tonight, there is no musical middle class. Mm. What a quote. She's a very smart girl. Very smart. I think the greatest thing I heard as well from a lot of the artists is they were saying, you encourage a lot of the artists to join in as well. Iota was saying you gave him a call. Gadiri said like you had pizza with him about it. So what drew you to some of these contestants that came at the end of the day who didn't have the mainstream appeal? Well, with Iota, I heard a song that needed... I, I listened to this great song and it was like a... Um, life is like... Um, Hello Goodbye by the Beatles or something right. like that. It's like this lovely novelty song and I thought, how do I pre present that? It needs a license for mischief. It's a license yeah. for mischief. And then I thought, well, who could do that? And then I hit on the Doof Warrior because I'd seen him as Hedwig and he was just like absolutely phenomenal. And, and I, I just said, you're opening the show. And he said, no, 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 I'll close the show. And, and we argued and then we got there where he opened it. Yeah. And it looked like, it looked like a you know, a night rally. Like it was The crowd incredible. is going insane. I've never seen that yeah. before. Uh, so he brought that, he's that prodigal Andy. son of rock and roll and cabaret. And anyway, he loved it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know that he felt good about being judged, but I've always said to people, don't feel like that. It's like a Grammy moment. An You're, exhibition. It's a Grammy moment. Mm. Like with Didiri, he'd never go in a competition normally. I'm a good talker into it. <laughs> You're a good convincer. Um, where but we've got the show to back it up. Totally yeah, now. Yeah. I think the, fun, can, the fundamentals are there now. We got the props. Yeah. The props are great this year. Massive, like next level. How did that all go about for you? Was it all your own kind of stage ideas? Oh, it's just me tooling around at Pinterest and midnight. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, really? it's just like with, with Diana, I, I imagine it could be a snow dome. Yeah. And then we couldn't quite make the 3D thing work, but it looked great, I thought. It looked like a magnifying glass was saying. <laughs> but we liked it. Someone said, oh, the hamster wheel's back. <laughs> Didn't quite move in that way, but no, it was great. <laughs> Where to now for Montaigne? Well, I think you have to ask a question like, is what we did here going to work in Europe? And is it going to work on that stage? And now that we're in this bigger idea, this mm. meta idea, why not just come up with a meta idea for it? So it took a little while just to think about how to do that with Kate. And I think there's just going to be discussion and just thinking about, um, I thought the one shot thing worked really well tonight, but it's just a little bit of conversation and just trying to work out what we can do for the money that we've got. Yeah, hoping to be back next year if Australia decides? Yes. Locked in or? I can't say it's locked in, it's not commissioned, but yeah. I think there's a lot of support for it. Let's see how we go with the ratings. Good to hear that the big bash was rained out, so let, <laughs> hopefully we'll bring a few of the cricket The crowd navigated across. to the best thing on Saturday night, I should say. <laughs> hope so, hope so. And great to hear Dami Ems put a Dami hat Ems in. put a hat in the ring. Did you negotiate that one as well? Yes. Or? You did? Yes. Amazing. And uh, look, 
you know, she has real. Every time she's done a Eurovision event, she's just loved it, and yeah. she always looks at us and goes, "Oh, ball." <laughs> so yeah, I was saying in the crowd today to the guys, like when she performed tonight, I'm like, I think she wants to come back. You can see it in her. Wow. Yeah. That's so. What intuition? Oh, I mean, it's like I'm a pro or something. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm so glad to hear that and so glad to see the, the show coming up every year bigger and better. So congratulations yeah. thank you. and all the best for Montana. And thank you very much for all the support from WeWe Blogs. We love you. We love you too. We really do. All the best. All right. Cheers.